we summarize what we have done. Uh, so we consider this problem. and uh, boundary conditions. And initial condition. Uh, F is given, so that's the initial temperature distribution. And we have seen that in this case, we can obtain a solution of this form, Bn e to the power minus n pi uh, alpha over L squared T sine n pi x over L where so here n is from one to infinity where uh, b n is just the coefficient of the uh, sine Fourier series of uh, f namely two over l times integral of uh, integral from zero to l of f of x times n n pi x over n dx. Okay, now let's see one example. Actually, two examples, let me say. Uh, first one is this one. Okay. So, solve the problems. First one is this. Okay, now, uh, so if I compare this problem with our problem, we see that uh, alpha squared, so solution, evet. Hangiler? Uh, uh, pardon, pardon. Okay, so. <gülüyor> okay. Okay. Uh, so if I compare this problem with our original problem, we see that 3 and L is pi, right? Uh, so, and F is this function. F of X is just 3 times sine 2X minus 6 times sine 5x. So what I will do, I'll just, uh, you know, uh, write down the solution in this form. So I need to compute bn. bn is what? bn is just 2 over l, 0 to l, f of x, sine n pi x over l. Bunu yanlış yazmışım. I'm sorry. N pi x over L. Okay. Dx. So what is this then? This is just 2 over pi. 
zero to pi, uh, f of x, and then sine uh, and pi x over L. Uh, L is just pi, so we get just n times x dx. Okay, well, f was, uh, f was what? Three times sine two x minus six times sine five x and then sine n x dx. What will be the solution of this? Well, you see, uh, I have an orthonormal basis. Uh, in this case, what is my orthonormal basis of functions? Remember, they were the followings. Cosine n pi x over l, sine n pi x over l, and from, uh, well, if I include also one, from one to infinity. So we get one, and then, uh, you see, L is pi, so we get cosine nx and sine nx, right? In case of L is equal to L, this is my orthonormal uh, set of functions. Well, not orthonormal, orthogonal set of functions because they don't have length one. In particular, you know, this function and this function are orthogonal to each other except uh, you know if n is not 2 so if n is not 2 then the product of these two would give us 0 and if n is not 5 then the product of these two would give us 0 also so that's equal to what so that's equal to the following if n is uh, let's say Two, then I have sine two x, sine two x times sine five x. This integral would give me zero, so uh, I would get something interesting from this one also only. So that would be just two over pi times three times integral of sine square two x, and that integral. Right? Uh, şeyin integral neydi? Yani uh, sinüs n pi x over l sinüs n pi x over l dx 0 to l Öyle mi? Huh. Orta normal değildi de ortogonaldi. Ee, normlar bir değil. Yok. İsterseniz bir tanesini yapalım. Okay, let, let's see one of them. Uh, zero to pi sine square two x dx. What is this? This is just sine squared is just 0 to pi 1 minus cosine 4x divided by 2 dx. Right? Integral of cosine 4x is just sine 4x and at 0 and pi that would give me 0. So this cosine term will give us nothing. Only one will give something. Integral of one is just x, zero to pi. So this is just pi. Uh, evet, pi over two. So the integral is just pi over two. So I have two over pi, three. And then integral of this is just pi over two. So I have pi over Okay.
Evet ne çıktı? Yani 3 right? So 3 if n is 2 uh, yani so this coefficient and if n is 5 I would get uh, not 5, 6 well maybe minus 6 and the others are just 0, right? So I have uh, B2 and B3 are just, you know, this gadget. Therefore, uh, my, uh, okay, so what is the solution then? So u uh, x t is just n from 1 to infinity b n e to the power minus n pi x over l no uh, n pi alpha over l square t sine n pi x over l so uh, this is all zero except n equals 2 and n equals Uh, five. When n equals two, this is just three, three, and then e to the power minus n equals two, uh, and l is pi. So this is just gone. So I have just two alpha, and alpha was uh, how much? Alpha was root three. Uh, neyse, şöyle yazayım. 2 alfa kare t sinüs ne eşittir 2 yani 2x eksi 6 uh, right, n equals 5 when n equals 5 b5 is just minus 6 e to the power minus 5 uh, alfa square t sine 5x So we get what? 3 times e to the power. Uh, eksi 4 alfa kare 3'tü. Alfa kare 3. Yani minus 12t. Sin 2x. Minus 6 e to the power. Minus uh, 25, 75 değil mi? 75 t sin 5x so that's the solution okay let me do one more example efendim uh, evet evet Evet, evet, evet, evet. Ya bu durumda şey işte hani e, aslında hesap yapmaya bile gerek yok da. Okay, so let's now consider the following problem. Uh, ut is equal to all right. Uh, okay. Uxx x, zero x uh, Gene şöyle yapayım. Homogeneous boundary conditions. And initial temperature distribution is this. Let's say uh, X. Okay. So initial temperature distribution is uh, from zero to L, right? So X is zero to L. Yani şu uçta ilk anda temperature sıfır. So the temperature, initial temperature is zero here. 
and at this point initial temperature is L and it is increasing linearly. Now let's see how the solution will uh, look like. So again, uh, this time alpha squared is just one, therefore alpha is one and L is again pi, right? L is pi. So the solution is just, and f of x is just x, right? So solution u x t is just, we know that it is just, uh, again, a Fourier series, b n e to the power minus n pi alpha over l squared t sine n pi x over l. Okay, uh, and Bn is just uh, 2 over L, 0 to L, f of x sine n pi x over L dx. All right, so in our case, uh, what will be the coefficients? 2 over pi. L is pi, uh, zero to pi. This is just x sine, uh, L is pi, so this is just sine nx dx. All right. Well, we have to do integration by parts, two over pi. Uh, okay, x, and then integral of this is just minus one over n, right? Cosine n x zero to pi. Evet. Uh, şunu şöyle yapayım. Minus uh, integral zero to pi. Uh, X'in türevini aldık. Bunun şeyi bir bölü n eksi var. Eksi eksi olduğu için artı olacak. Kosinüs n x dx. Integral of cosine is sine and evaluated at zero and pi will give us zero. So this integral won't give us anything. So only this integral. And what is that integral? It is just two over pi. And when I plug zero, I have x, so that's also zero. So the only non-zero term would come from this. So it is just cosine n times pi. Cosine n times pi. So this thing is just minus one over n times cosine n pi. But this is minus one to the power n. So this is minus one to the power n plus one and then I have one over n. Ha, bir de iki bölü pi var. X yerine de pi koyduk. Ha, şurada. Evet, şöyle. Tamam. So, what is this then? Pi'ler gitti. Yani iki tane Eksi bir üzeri n artı bir bölü n. Okay. Now let me just write down the solution over here. Uh, so the solution ya da şurayı sileyim de böyle yapayım. Burayı silebilir miyim? So the solution is just uh, uxt, which was summation from one to infinity, bn, bn is just two over n times minus one to the power n plus one. Yes, uh, e to the power minus 
L is pi, so I have just n times alpha, but alpha is one, so I have just n squared t sine uh, nx. So that's the uh, solution. You see, uh, when t increases, when t is increasing, uh, increases, this will rapidly go to zero, right? Therefore, all these terms will go to zero and the temperature will eventually go to zero. And of course, that is, you know, uh, that makes sense because we keep the temperature zero degrees at all times and we don't have any external heat source, it has an initial uh, possibly non-zero temperature distribution like this one. But since you keep the both ends at zero uh, degrees Celsius, the temperature will drop uh, in time and it will eventually go to zero. Değil mi? Yani çünkü T arttıkça bunların her birisi hızla sıfıra gidecek. Peki. Sorusu olan var mı? Any questions so far? Okay, let's. Uh... Ben yukarısında sileyim. Okay. Uh, now, what if if I have uh, non-homogeneous boundary conditions? Suppose we have a problem of this type. So we have the same partial differential equation. That's the heat equation, a parabolic equation. But uh, we may have something like this. Uh, okay, so this may be some function f and this may be some function G. And ya da şöyle A, uh, A ve B diyeyim. I reserve F for the initial condition. Initial condition U0 T is F of X. Okay, so this time I don't have uh, zero uh, boundary condition, something like this. But uh, we will actually do something uh, simple than this. 
we will assume that these functions are uh, constant. Kim? Evet, ondan sonra non constantı da yapacağız. Uh, first, let's assume that the uh, non-homogeneous boundary conditions AT and BT are uh, time independent, so they are independent of T, it means they are constant are constants. So we assume this boundary conditions is this u zero t is equal to some value a and u l t is equal to some condition b. So we keep the both ends of this at fixed uh, temperatures. But those temperatures are not zero. Here the temperature is A, and here the temperature is B. And we wonder what the solution is in this case. Tamam mı? Sonra genel duruma da bakacağız. Peki. Uh, if you recall... Uh, similar problems for ordinary differential equations, we had what? For homogeneous solutions, we had general solution. In this case, we had general solution. And then to find the coefficients, we use the initial condition. We find B ends, right? General solution is this. Uh, B n, T n, X n. Right, BNs are arbitrary constants, and then we use uh, initial condition, and this gives us BNs, right? Using Fourier uh, series. Uh, and if our equation is not homogeneous, then we look for a particular solution. We find the particular solution, and then we add the general solution to the particular solution and find the solution of the uh, given problem. So that's what are we going to do now. <clears throat> uh, so if, let me rewrite again. Okay, now first look for a solution of the form, a particular solution of the form. Şöyle bir şey. Particular solution, U, P, X, T, and it is C, X plus D for some constants. Şimdi dikkat ederseniz, uh, any function like this satisfies the PD. Why is that? You see, U, P, T derivative of this is what? Well, let me like, write it like this. Uh, up delta. What is the t derivative? It is zero. And what is the second derivative of this with respect to x? Well, there is only single x here, so second derivative is also x. Uh, sorry, zero. Therefore, it satisfies the PDE. Both terms are zero. Uh, so that up x t satisfies the PD uh, ut equals 
alpha squared uxx. E o zaman sadece boundary conditionlara bakalım. For the boundary conditions, uh, a is equal to u zero t. Well, if you plug x equal zero, so u p zero t. So you just get zero uh, for x. So zero times c plus d. Therefore we get d equals a and then the second boundary condition and this gives us what uh, c is equal to b minus d d is just a divided by l uh, c Yok ben C'yi arıyorum değil mi? C evet. bu olacak. O halde so u p x t is what? C x plus d. C is just this. B minus a over l times x plus a. Gerçekten de burada x yerine a koyarsanız if you plug x equals a you get A. If you plug X equals B, you get uh, X equals L, pardon. Uh, you get B minus A plus A, which is B. Okay. So it's a solution of, so this thing solves this and this one. Okay. It solves this one and this one. What about the third one? Well, certainly it doesn't solve that one, but actually we don't need it. Şöyle diyeyim. Okay. Uh, not that. Okay. Uh, now let W X T be the solution. Solution of uh, this problem. U uh, T alpha squared u x x double uh, u sorry zero t equals zero l t equals zero and u x zero equals f of x okay yani uh, w bu koşulları sağlıyor uh, then uh, let u x t to be the following. Uh, this u p x t plus w x t. Yani ne yapmış oluyorum? So we divided our problem into two problems. One of them is non-homogeneous boundary conditions and we obtained the solution as a linear function of x and then uh, we consider this problem and its solution is w. Here, uh, homogeneous boundary conditions. Uh, this is f of x, of course. And the sum of these two would give us the required solution. Why is that? You see, uh, note that uh, ux uh, is just upx plus wx. uxx is just upx 
x plus w x x and u sub t is just u p sub t plus w t so that so that u x minus alpha squared u sub x x is just buradan yerlerine koyarsanız ne elde edeceksiniz uh, pardon u t değil mi u t nedir uh, u sub t plus w t minus alpha squared u sub x x u sub x x is just u sub p x x minus alpha squared u no w x x but you see w sub t minus this so this is zero and this is zero because they are both equations of the heat equation so this is zero therefore u the sum of these two uh, satisfies the PD and it satisfies the uh, boundary conditions because when I plug zero here, I get this. And we know that this is A, but this is zero, so this is A. Similarly, LT is just UP. Lt plus Wlt. Well, this time this was B and this is again zero. So this is A. And finally, the uh, initial condition X zero. So this is U sub P X zero plus Wx. No x0, sorry, x0. Uh, when I plug uh, this, huh, bunu elde koyarsak, bu bize ne verecek? Ha, bu şey verecek. Uh, ha, o sıfır değil. Bu neydi? Uh, B minus a over L X plus B miydi? A plus bu da uh, F of X'ti. Hmm. O zaman ne yapacağız? Uh, w won't be the solution of this one, but it will be the solution of this one. F minus this gadget. B minus A over L X plus a so i have to modify the initial condition like this so that i get f of x minus this expression the same thing so the result would be f of x tamam mı yani bu w bulmak için bu f'i kullanmayacağım da bunu çıkartıp onu e, yani f'in sign serisini değil de şunun sign serisini hesaplamam lazım. E, evet. W bu denklemin çözümü olacak. Yani f kullanmayacağım burada da f eksi bunu kullanacağım. Tamam mı? Şimdi bir tane örnek yapalım. Efendim? Heat equation ile uğraşınca değil mi? Sıcaklık basıyor. Bakalım wave equation'da ne olacak? Okay. Zaten milletçe oynatmaya az kaldı. Okay, let's do one example. Bakayım kitap şey notlarda bir örnek varsa onu yapayım.
Evet. <gülüyor> Senin bagajda yok mu? <gülüyor> Okay. <gülüyor> Benim arabamın bagajı ön tarafta gerçi. Bir ara İngiliz anahtarı vardı. Torpidoda da. Artık. <gülüyor> okay. So the uh, problem uh, for uh, UXX, uh, şunu yine P alalım. Yani istediğiniz sayı alabilirsiniz de e, integrallerde hani sinüs, kosinüs olduğu için hani P'li bir şey almazsanız pişman olursunuz yani sonunda. <gülüyor> o yüzden öyle yapayım. Uh, U 0 uh, uh, T bu 2 uh, olsun. U 0 uh, T de minus uh, 2 olsun. Değil mi? istediğimiz şey seçebiliriz. U sub x 0'da <gülüyor> yani bizim f of x'imiz o da şey olsun. Aa, bunu sıfır alayım. Ya da a, hmm. x alayım. Aslında onu değiştireceğim sonra. Ya da neyse tamam kalsın böyle. Okey. Efendim? Yani e, bundan öbürünü çıkartınca sıfır çıksın falan gibi. Neyse kalsın sorun değil. Şimdi ne yapacağız? Uh, this is a non-homogeneous uh, boundary condition problem. So first we need to determine all the you know Uh, constants involved in this equation. For example, alpha squared is 4, L is pi again, uh, A is just 2, B is minus 2, and F of X is equal to X. So, I can write down the particular solution right away. What was this? This was B minus A over L X plus A. Değil mi? Böyle miydi? Evet. O zaman koyarsak yerlerine B minus A eksi 4 değil mi? Eksi 4 bölü P X artı 2. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, what about W? W X T is a solution of of which problem? Of this problem. Uh, i̇sterseniz W yazayım. W T equals aynı denklem. Write the same equation. Uh, Homogeneous boundary conditions, zero uh, t and pi t. Bunu yanlış yazmışım değil mi? Bu zero olmayacak, pi olacak. Z, uh, w uh, pi t, they are both zero. And uh, W zero X is what? F minus this gadget. So 
f minus this f of x minus uh, upxt. Well, actually, up I should say it is time independent. Neyse yine de şöyle yazayım. E, uh, f zaten x'ti. x eksi bu. Yani uh, 4 bölü pi x artı 2. Ha, eksi. Özür dilerim. Yani nedir bu da? Uh, 1 artı yok pi artı 4 bölü pi x eksi 2 mi? Değil mi? Yani şöyle bir şey. O zaman w ne olacak? So w x t is n from 1 to infinity uh, bn uh, okay e to the power minus alpha n uh, pi over l squared p sine n pi x over l and bn is this integral 2 over L 0 to L uh, so this function uh, pi plus 4 over pi x minus 2 and then sine n pi x Okay. Yani bunu hesaplamamız lazım. Evet. Kaldırayım pardon. Zamanım var mı? Okay. Efendim? Bitirelim mi? Tamam. Okay. Uh, BN So what is BN? Uh, so 2 over L. L is pi. 0 to pi. Değil mi? Neydi? Uh, integral uh, uh, pi plus 4 divided by pi x plus no, minus 2 değil mi? Sinüs n uh, pi x over l l is pi yani şu var elimizde değil mi? Uh, tamam. Şimdi 2 uh, Okay. Evet, hepsiyle uğraşmam lazım. Neyse, tamam. Ee, şuradan bir kere iki tane p plus 4 over pi squared gelecek. Right, pi squared. Integral 0 to pi x times sine nx dx minus 4 over pi integral 0 to pi uh, sin n x dx. Okay. Uh, bu integral nedir? İki tane pi bölü 4 pi artı pi plus 4 over pi squared. Integral of this. Bunun integralinden ne geliyordu? Uh, şimdi x ve kosinüs eksi uh, 1 bölü n Kosinüs n x değil mi? Sıfırdan pi'ye. Ee, eksi şurada bir şey vardı ama bu integralden sıfır gelecekti. Değil mi? Onu atıyoruz. 
eksi 4 bölü pi integral of this is just minus 1 over n cosine n x 0 to pi. Okay. So b n is just uh, sıfır koyduğumuzda sıfır sadece pi'de bir şey gelecek. Pi'de de e, o pi'lerin birisi gidecek. E, eksi e, ha, orada da kosinüs n pi olacak. Yani eksi bir üzeri e, n artı bir olacak. E, kosinüs n pi eksi bir üzeri n'di. E, i̇ki tane pi artı 4 bölü e, bir pi şunu cancel etti. Şurada sadece pi kaldı. Tamam. Burada da e, eksi eksi artı oldu. 4 bölü n pi e, artı 4 bölü n times pi e, yani aslında şurada eksi bir üzeri n. Efendim? Ha. Eksi bir geliyor. Hmm, şöyle. Eksi bir. Okey. Yani o zaman e, BN şöyle olacak. E, yani aslında böyle bırakabilirsiniz. E, BN'i. Çözümümüz ne olacak o zaman? So what is the solution? Uh, uxt it was upxt plus wxt right? Upxt was uh, neydi o? Evet. Ha şeydi. Uh, P artı 4 bölü pi x eksi 2 değil mi? Art ha eksi 4 evet evet up şuydu özür dilerim up was minus 4x over pi plus 2 plus w w is Uh, integral sum from one to infinity b n we can just keep b n like this and then e to the power minus uh, n pi uh, alfa alfa 2 idi galiba değil mi yani 2 uh, n p bölü l dolayısıyla onlar gidecek bunun karesi T sinüs uh, n x. Evet, çözüm bu. So that's the solution. Okay. So this is 4 n squared t actually. 4 n squared t. Again, you see that you know this is an exponential term uh, with a negative. Uh, you know, coefficient here as t increases, this goes rapidly to zero. So these terms will go to zero. So this will disappear, and what will happen? This particular solution will survive. Ama uh, that that makes sense again because you know uh, you have this metal bar. You always keep the temperature zero here and. Uh, no, sorry. Two here minus two here. So as time passes, the temperature distribution will be just this gadget. Yani burası iki, burası eksi iki. Arada da lineer olarak artacak. Right. So the temperature will increase linearly from two to uh, well decrease uh, from two to minus two. So this is the uh, 
uh, stable solution or onun başka bir ismi vardı galiba. Bu transit solution. Hani bu 3 uh, yıl sonra geldiğinizde bunu görmeyeceksiniz. Değil mi? Sadece bu kalacak. O da hani uh, sense ediyor zaten. Okay, let's stop.